You need to have strong foundations, ideally with a man cave. You also need space. Two stories with a screening room for movie night should do, right? Yeah! And how about a hot tub for the winter? And a swimming pool for summer? Yeah! Great! Sign this, please. Now, let me talk you through the process. We start with you as you are right now, with a problem, then we exchange, then you leave happily. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think so. Great, so let's exchange. Well, it seems we've run out of things to say but, and... but, but, I meant to exchange my services for your money. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. Very good. So, yeah, this never used to happen to us, but now it's like... And now, goodbye. Well, wait, what about all that building a house stuff? Oh, we're building all right. My pool house! Bye! <laughs> Okay, what if we try something a little more off the charts? No, please, not him. Look, science let us down. We might as well give him a chance. Please, don't say it. No. Please, no! Did someone say alternative medicine? <sighs> so, you're saying you have no wind in your sails? Yes. The train won't leave the station? Yes. The goose is stuck in the hammock? Yes. The potato is wedged in your tailpipe? I'm not sure what we're talking about anymore. You've got trouble talking. Yes. Hmm, I see. I think we need to release the holisticness of your third eye chakras in order to boost your aura and stimulate the flow of chi to your tongue. What does that mean? It means this. How do you feel? Like I got punctured 200 times and set on fire. I meant between the two of you. Uh, 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 no, still have nothing to say to him. Me neither. Wait, wait, I, I can feel something coming. Yeah, me too. It's like my tongue is tingling. That's really weird. I've done this procedure three times before and all my other patients had exactly the same result. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> but don't panic. Their lives went back to normal very quickly. <sighs> Once they accepted that this was their life now. You know, Darwin, as that Backstreet doctor was violently draining the excess fluid out of our screaming faces using that grease-coated bicycle pump, I had an eye-opening moment. Tell me about it. My eyes are still popping out in shock. No, I mean that man had no diploma. He was just pretending to be a doctor. So? So what if we pretended too? I don't get it. Well, you know how we can't keep up a conversation? Yeah, it goes limper than an animator's handshake. <laughs> exactly. But what if it wasn't us doing the talking? What do you mean? Role-playing. If it works for fedora wizards in some basement, why not us? Who are you gonna be then? I'm Akane Ryuku, a shy anime kawaii girl who likes corgis and friendship. Okay, let's go. Hey. Oh, hey, I'm Akane-chan. I'm not used to talk to people. <laughs> Asterisk blushes and turns away. Congratulations! You've won E-Phone Black Edition! Sugoi! Thank you, Sleeve McDyckel, senpai. It's the first time someone makes Akane-chan a present. Asterisk looks away all flustered. You want to be friends with Akane? What? Question mark. Equals my message not going through? Chat with me now and win dollars, dollars, dollars! What? Click link and talk. Mm. Dude, what the what were you role-playing? A bot! So even Akane's conversation wasn't real? Asterisk bash his head on wall in anguish. Asterisk can realize it hurts a lot more in real life than in writing. So that's three kids' meals, a salad, and 47 double cheeseburgers. 47? Richard! Relax. I asked for Swiss cheese. It's healthier. What? How? It's got holes in it. Let's make that one cheeseburger and some carrot sticks. What? If you don't feed me properly, how do you expect me to keep my six pack? You're what? Uh, you'll miss this when it's gone. That's 17 bucks, 15 cents. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, the card has been declined. It says insufficient funds. I don't understand. There should be money on that card. Where's it all gone? Hmm, I don't want to point the finger, but... Dad, what'd you do with the money? Well, I did what all the business sharks do to avoid getting taxed. I transferred it to an offshore bank account. Richard, what exactly have you done with my... Sorry, our... No, wait, actually, my money. Like I said, I put it offshore. But not before converting it into gold. <laughs> It's not bad! She's gonna severely reprimand him! Don't worry, kids! I'll calm her down with my 
my irresistible charm! <sighs> We're broke! <laughs> no, wait. We can't afford the water bills now. This is all we got. Drink up. Hey, there might be a less gross solution. We're filming a commercial for Joyful Burger in here later. So? So, you guys are the ideal Joyful Burger family. What do you mean? Not too attractive, not too intelligent, totally dysfunctional. You guys have got it all. And you'll get paid. Where do we sign? No! We're not going to let ourselves be reduced to some cliches for a quick corporate buck. We're the Watersons, and we don't sell out. <laughs> What's that? I symbolically burned it, because I'm not allowed to use a real lighter. Wait! Are you guys already convinced? I haven't even done my rant about how the little fish got together to make a thing. Now what? The fridge. What? There's nothing in there. Exactly. Where's all the food? Gumball, you're the one who wanted us to keep our dignity and not sell out. This is what happens when you can't buy things. You don't have things. Then why'd you all listen to me? Because no matter how hard it is for me to admit, you are... <laughs> you are... <laughs> Darwin, you tell him it's making me gag. What she's trying to say is, you're right. We shouldn't sell out. Funny, I thought victory tastes sweeter. What does it taste of? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like hunger. <laughs> Look, we might have run out of food, but we've still got each other. <laughs> hey, hey! Let's not panic. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for this. We've just been kidnapped and we're all wearing blindfolds. <laughs> Guys, stop. It's because we haven't paid the electric bill. There's no power. We may as well just go to bed. <laughs> there you go, all tucked up tight. Good night, kids. Night, night Mom. Mom. Don't worry, honey, it's just our stuff getting repossessed. By these low-life bottom feeding undereducated, unhygienic, slimy, no-neck, toxic, triple chinned, oxygen wasting, crude, gutless, foul smelling, buck tooth corrupt, felonious, disgraceful, disease ridden, bow legged, yellow bellied, backstabbing, ghoulish, vulgar, despicable, worm headed, worthless stains! <laughs> I'm only doing my job! Why are you so mean? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? Probably going too far. That TV's broken. Is it? Oh! It is now. Ma'am? Yes! Yeah!